All right, part four of the ant modeling, rigging, and animation lesson. So we're just going to do a quick walk cycle, and then uh, you will uh, add um, character uh, to this. Uh, it's going to be up to you how you want to animate it. Um, and we'll show you a sample uh, for your homework. All right, so but now let's just do the uh, classic kind of ant walk cycle. All right, so let's prepare the screen first. So I'm going to right-click on this division right here. Okay, and I'm going to do a vertical split and I'll do another one. Right click on the division right here. All right, so we got those. Uh, let's change this one to uh, the uh, front. Let's change this one to the top. And let's change this one to the right side. That way we can uh, see um, the elevation and the movement of the uh, of our ant right here okay and I'm in global you can do this in uh, any coordinate system that you want all right so first thing we need to do is turn on our uh, make sure our auto keyframe is on okay and we're going to uh, set this one all right so we're gonna grab this first this is the front left uh, uh, front left uh, leg okay and we're going to uh, grab this Okay, and then rotate that so it's kind of straight. Or uh, uh, we don't, we're not twisting any of the legs right there. And we're going to grab the opposite back uh, right, and we'll do the same. All right, so now we want the, um, the middle right, right here, to kind of join this. All right, so we're going to grab this one here and rotate it as well. Okay, and then grab this one, put it here. All right, so as you can see, I mean, don't have to be perfect on this one. Okay, so we want all that. So we do want to animate everything right here so that we can flip the post. So we're going to press A to select everything. Okay, uh, let me turn on the uh, screencast here real quick. All right, so uh, select everything and then press K. You want to locate and rotation auto key. All right, so we got those. We might need to bring this over like so because we have a lot of stuff here. So let me just kind of truncate this so we only see that as a summary right there, okay? So we, once we have those uh, kind of selected, we selected all the keys. All right, so well, we're going to set our key to uh, uh, 9 frames and then 16 frames cycle. And we're going to end this on 16. We're going to be on 1 and 17. So the opposite of this position would be on frame 9, okay? And I'm just setting it to 1, 9, and 17. Uh, it's kind of like a medium speed. Uh, but you can always make this slower and make it faster by scaling, uh, bunching up the spacing on your keyframe, okay? So let's go to frame 9 with those keys still selected, but let's make sure, okay, we select all that. And we go here to Pose, okay? We're going to go Copy Pose. We'll go to frame 9, okay? And watch this one. We're just going to do Pose, Paste, Pose, Flip. As you can see, it did the opposite, okay? So now, if I select all of these keys right here, Shift D it, and then drag it all the way to 17. The reason why we're not doing 16 is that we want, when we're viewing this, we want it to continuously loop right there, okay? All right. And that's pretty much it regarding the alternating legs, okay? So now, we're gonna go in between here you're going to go to frame 5, okay? We're going to select the front and back right and then left middle. So this three right here. And what we're going to do is just kind of lift those up. So that's how it's going to create those crossing of the legs, okay? Uh, how high? Uh, it's depending on how exaggerated you want it. So let's go like this. It's a cartoony looking and we're not going for... Um, photorealism here or you know it's we're just animating okay all right so we selected that and went up like so okay 
There you go. So you can see right here on the right side the transitioning of the legs. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to select while we're here on uh, frame five. We're going to select A to select everything. Press K, location and rotation. Okay. Then we're going to uh, select everything on frame five. Okay. We go to pose, copy pose. Let's go to frame 13, which is the opposite of this on the other side for the uh, cycle and exactly what we did with 1 and 9. Paste the uh, post, the flip. All right. Oh, didn't do it. Let me go here. Uh, oh, I lost the uh, selection. Okay, right here. Select everything. Okay. And then we select everything here. We do a copy post. We go to 13. We flip paste it. There we go. So now it should be the opposite uh, leg that's up. And that's it. Okay. If I go right here, it looks kind of funny in the uh, top, but you can see right here that the legs are alternating. Okay. So what else can we do with this one? Uh, it's fairly stiff uh, because there's no movement on the body and whatnot. So let's just do that. Okay. And we're just going to uh, just kind of copy and paste all this um, with the any changes that we do. Okay. So let's go back to frame one. Any changes I do to frame one, I'm just going to shift D, copy it to 17, and that way it'll do a perfect cycle. Okay. So let's take care of the body. Okay. Let's go with the body right here and then frame one um, when it's crossing the when it's bringing the legs up like that that would be kind of like the highest position that it it might be going okay I never really studied um, with a macro lens and ant so we're just again having fun with this one okay so um, but you're creating an, uh, a personality to it so you add your own subtleties and uh, mannerism okay so on frame one we're going to lower the body Okay, so that when uh, it goes to frame five, it goes up, and then on nine, uh, there's no uh, uh, legs going up, so we'll go it right there and then here. All right, so we just kind of maybe that's too much, but that's probably fine. So I'm going to select everything on frame one, shift D, drag it all the way to 17, it overrides all that. So now we have, we just kind of added a little bit more. And a personality to this okay all right so what else can we do with this one um, with uh, frame one right here um, we can also do um, I don't know maybe we can do kind of like a slight rotation so when it goes up like this um, it's kind of balance on both those are high right there we could maybe maybe that's too much though so all right Let's kind of keep it um, a little simple here. All right. So uh, on frame one, let's do something with the belly. Okay. So let's uh, rotate that. And then, okay. That's kind of lowered a little bit like so. Okay. So that's on frame uh, one. All right. We're auto keyframing. So frame five, uh, let's, uh, uh, frame nine, sorry. Let's do the same thing on frame nine. Okay, frame 13, we leave it alone. So again, we grab everything from frame 1, shift D all the way to 17. It overrides everything. So let's see. That's probably way too much movement on that tail. Okay, so uh, we'll probably do some um, animation here on 5, lower that also. Okay, and here... Because I on photos uh, the tail it's pretty much uh, lowered so by doing that all right so now it's kind of subtle okay let's do something with the head on frame one uh, let's kind of lower that and frame five um, lower that a little bit we don't want it kind of too much uh, head bob Okay, and then we're going to select everything on frame 1, shift D. Okay, 
Let's see. Oh, it's too much. So here, let's lower that by here. Frame 9. 13. Then we copy everything from frame 1 to 17. All right, kind of subtle. Okay. Now let's do some rotation on the body uh, or head and um, the belly right there. Okay, so in frame one, let's do, um, since it's go, uh, going this way, we can probably rotate the body a little bit like so. Okay, on frame one. And then on frame five, uh, it'll center itself. On frame nine, we'll do the opposite. Okay, and then it'll center itself on 13. Okay. Let's do that. So frame one right here, duplicate it, drag it to 17. So all right, so we have that. Okay, now let's correct that so that the head is aiming straight all the time. Okay, so we just kind of twisted the body in there and uh, now we can uh, correct the head right here. So so in frame one, we want to center it like so. Frame five, it's okay. Frame nine, let's fix that. Frame 13, it should be fine. So now if we select all the frames in frame one again, shift D to 17. All right, so now the uh, head is pretty much straight. We got those right there. And then um, we could also do uh, animation on the uh, the knee up vectors, the pole vectors right here, which you can um, um, kind of animate depending on how subtle you want it and whatnot and then the antenna also so there's plenty of stuff to do okay and um, uh, it's up to you what you uh, personality you want to add to the ant but for your homework this is what you have to do all right so we're gonna cycle this and uh, we have lessons on cycle already okay but if you want to know uh, how to do that um, uh, quickly uh, we can go to uh, our um, graph editor here real quick okay select all the keys okay and we can uh, press dot right here just so that it centers everything we're gonna select all our keys right here okay shift E and then make cyclic what's gonna happen it's gonna cycle all this animation like so so if we set our uh, to our animation to let's say 240 for 10 seconds at 24 frames per second, uh, our ant will just keep walking, doing these things. But don't do this until you added all the personality and uh, mannerism, subtlety to your animation, like the antenna, okay, or the head kind of sniffing around, doing all that stuff, okay. Then you can just it'll just cycle, and then if you attach this to a path your uh and you match the timing then you can make your uh your ant um follow a path all right so for your homework you have to do something like this all right so let's take a look here all right the walking is a lot faster so you have to compress the uh, the uh, uh, the spacing okay so I need you to put the ant on a figure eight like so. Okay. You can uh, animate the, uh, you can put the cycle or you can keep animating it. Okay. So let's see, uh, this is your, one of your uh, late homework and I need to assess what you've learned and uh, you have to animate it uh, of course if you animate everything i mean if you cycle everything uh you won't be able to independently animate the head doing that okay so when you do your uh, cyclic only cycle what you need to cycle which is basically probably the up and down movement of the body and the legs do not cycle the uh, the head or the antenna otherwise you won't be able to give it kind of like that personality that it's looking around sniffing okay so for your final homework set your um, timing to 
240 frames. Uh, make your uh, ant uh, follow a path like a figure eight like this. Okay. And then uh, add those subtle animations of uh, the head kind of looking around and, and uh, figuring things out. Okay.